You miss me, you miss me, now you gotta... No! Wrong song! <laughs> well, you know, where do we start, okay? Let's start with our song. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, ay, that's all we do, ay, 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 ay. I'm coming to you. <laughs> I'm coming to you with another video. Ay, coming to you with another video. Thank you. I don't know what just happened. A little rusty and dusty. Before I get started, I do want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Um, first and foremost, I want to say welcome back, okay, to you guys. Um, and if you have not joined the fan bam by subscribing, please make sure that you do. Turn your notifications on, customize it and everything because YouTube, you know, sometimes they don't want you to be great, you know? The last time I did a video was prior to me going to Vegas and I've been home from Vegas for a couple of weeks. But for those of you guys that don't know, I actually have, you know, other businesses as well. You know, we got some things going on. C Key Cosmetics is one of them. And so we actually had to uh, kind of get back up to speed and everything. And I'm still kind of like a part of operations, but we just hired someone. So whoop, whoop. Woo woo, I'm excited about that. That is why you guys don't see me as much, okay? I'm not holding out. It's not that I don't wanna do videos. Matter of fact, I'm still here. I'm still here because I love y'all and I love doing this and I love makeup. Matter of fact, I love makeup so much that I still be buying even though you don't see me, so check it out. I got this new palette. I was in Sephora because I had a client. I still do makeup too, but like, you know, in between what I'm doing. And so, um, two things actually. I went to Morphe and I picked up another one of the P. Louise uh, bases because I wanted to try the one in number four. So now I have four, five, and six. I actually have a video on me doing the, um, using the number five. It's more like a concealer, but I wanted to get a brighter one, which is number four, because it actually helps the pigments pop. Like it makes it, you know, pop and show up a little bit more. And so I was picking up some makeup because I had a client to do last week and I picked up or I walked by baby. I walked by this palette, this makeup by Mario palette. Now, Mario is the guy that uh, does Kim Kardashian's makeup and has done her makeup for years. Well, he has um, introduced a makeup line to the masses, okay? And so I was walking by in Sephora and I happened to see this palette. And I was like, Arr! back that thing up, right? It's called the um, Master Metals. I believe this palette was like 48 bucks and I swatched her. <sighs> I swatched her. And the rest is history. So I'm gonna swatch it real quick for you. This is, uh, I don't even know if there's, okay, there we go. It's just called Silver, Gold, Copper, Bronze, Rose Gold. And so I already did a look. You gotta look on my Instagram. You can go ahead and go to at Seeky underscore beauty on my Instagram, which you should be following me anyway, girlfriend. And I did a video and I was like, Mario, hi, how are you? <laughs> you did good. And so this is the silver. Do y'all see that? Like I'm not even all up in your grill though. This is the gold and I, it's literally one swipe. I don't think y'all understanding me, one swipe. And then the copper. I think I'm gonna play, uh, I don't know yet. Um, let me see. And this is the, uh, what color did they call this? He called it copper and then, oh, bronze. Oh, wow. This is the bronze. I think I'm going to play in this one today. Probably these, these two, copper and bronze. And then the rose gold. So I'm just going to use this Ofra brush. It is the number, number 20. And I'm not going to put like any concealer. At least I didn't yesterday. I didn't do any concealer or anything. Only thing I did was scope my brows and I did use LA Girl Concealer and Fawn to scope under the brows, but I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to pat it all the way on. It looks really weird when you start. I promise it does, but it came out and it worked out for my good yesterday. So I'm just going to take this all the way up like I did yesterday. This is the number four and I am simply patting it all over this lid child. And yeah, yeah, it, this takes I'm getting used to because I am so used to using a shade that looks like my skin tone like you know more of like a concealer shade but I'm mad so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette because it's used and abused but what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna stop using it until I use all of that up I have another one too but like look at this
at this. This is crazy, right? Look, it's all broken, all that. But we're gonna use it all up until, until the wheels fall off. And then I'll break out my other one. So I'm gonna go into the crease with this color. You see how pigmented that is? It really gives great pigment when I use that other color. When you do this, you must blend, my friend, okay? This is the way we blend it out, blend it out. Blend it out. This is the way we blend it out. Oh dear. Anyway, so blend it out. This is the shade Mug Shot. Hey, diggy diggy. You see that brighter color is like, hi. What I did yesterday was I took this brush. This is a Stalazi brush. It is S122. I took this brush. I actually take my little Urban Decay spray, spray it on there. And you don't really have to do this because it is pigmented, but because there is, I just love the way it did it when I put it on there, I'm, I'm hooked now. So I'm going to put this shade right here. I feel like I want to use it all. Do I want to put it over the whole lid? There we go. Just had to spray a little bit more. And I'm gonna take it all the way and then I'll just put like brown on the other end. Come on, Mario. You probably could do your finger with this too. And I like how it blends with the matte too, but I really like his shadows enough to where I think I'm gonna go get the natural palette and see how I like his mattes. So I'm gonna use the other side of this brush, right? And we're gonna spray more and it is setting spray. And then I'm gonna go into the color that he calls bronze. And we're going to take that color and then we're gonna go here. I think the silver is more pigmented than anything in this palette, to be honest. That silver is like, whoa. This is my Morphe 3502 palette. I need to find out what's going on with this palette because I tried to get another one. But this is my um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the number 43. And I'm going to go into this shade. Um, this shade is called Rich. Is Y'all know I use it a lot, like right here. When I find certain shadows that I really love, I kind of stick with them. And I may need to go deeper, but I don't, I don't want this to to be too too dark so this is actually good and one thing that I like about his shadows is that I can literally blend like this and just blend it into that foil look at that look at that Mario okay so now we're back in this Morphe palette my favorite brow bone highlight which is universal and I'm gonna pack that up there which should hide that light color P. Louise. Now I'm going to put on a little bit of liner and I'm going to use my Ofra Verified Liner, but I'm not going to wing it out at all. And I really don't even want to do like, y'all, we're going to have to cut this out because baby, I got to be all up in the grill, contacts or not. I need to be up in my mirror. So, and, um, so I just kind of tight lined a little bit and I told you guys that I was probably, it would be better if I didn't have on nails, but I'm going to use a little bit of this and just my finger and just make it pop a little more. Hopefully that don't really mess it up because I can't really see where I'm putting it. But what I am going to use is I'm going to reuse these lashes that I had on yesterday. And literally people are like, do you, do you soak them and do you clean them and do you do this and do you do that? No, I don't. And don't judge me. Okay. I mean, you can if you like, but as I always say, I won't receive it. <laughs> the Ardell lashes, they are 213s. And what I did was I simply doubled them up. Let me move my nail out of the way. I simply doubled them up. And what that means is I put on one and then once I got that set, I put on another one on top and then they just pretty much stay together. And then all I do when Siri, didn't nobody call you. And then all I do is take the glue off before I am ready to reapply. All right, so I am going to take another brush. This is my Makeup Geek brush. This is the Smoky Eye brush. It is literally like a dense circular brush. Very dense. It's like a, it's almost like, I don't even know what I want to say it is, but it's just rounded. There you go. Let's say rounded. So I'm going to spray some of that Urban Decay on there and I'm going to go back into the Makeup by Mario palette and I'm going to get that color that is in my inner corner that goes all the way to the inner corner and is the first shade that we use. I'm going to put this like I want to make more of a defined color. I want to make more color right there. Ain't nothing but a lash thing, baby. <laughs> And then let me tell you how I get definition under my lashes. So I'm going to use a little bit of liner. This is going to be the Marc Jacobs liner. So I'm just going to put a little bit of liner right there. I don't like it to go all the way under my eye because then it kind of closes my eye. Now this brush is um, Morphe. I didn't even know it was Morphe. Morphe G28, baby. This, I've had this for a minute, okay? So we're going to go back into that color rich. And I'm simply going to take.
take this and then go under here. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. As I'm talking, um, you will see the final look roll through. I will show you because I'm gonna do another video. It's gonna be like a two for one special. So you're gonna see another one. Um, it'll probably come up after this one, okay? But this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to come on, use this palette with you guys, let you know that it is definitely a ding ding. It's a thumbs up. It's an okay buy. Um, it is, you know, a little pricey for like five shadows at $48, but it like, I would do it again. I would totally do it again. But I will tell you guys that my favorite color, the fa the best pigmentation, the best color payoff, the one that just pops the most and looks the best. I, I really, I really think it's that silver. That silver is hot, but I like these too. This is like more of a, you know, more of a, um, kind of neutral look, but it works for me as well. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I'm not going to say that I will see you sooner than you think. But I will see you soon. Okay? Bye. Tiki, me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover. Hey.